a really good performance and in the end your captain gets the goals for you. Yeah, I think um, I think you're right in what you're saying. The performance was good. I think if you look all over us over the past three games, we look like we've grown as a team and the performances have been better and the results have, um, have proved that as well. And I think today, I think the, the players, I know Clark, he's got the two goals, but I think, um, I think everyone to a man was outstanding today. Difficult to find the words to describe Peter Clark, really. I mean, he, he's almost like a robot, isn't he? I mean, you get the same performance from him week in, week out. Yeah, I think he gets better every season, doesn't he? He's like a Benjamin Button, isn't he? But his, his <laughs> attitude and desire. I mean, even that one where he throws his head at the ball, they go through, and he just he'll, he'll do anything to keep the ball out the back of the net. I mean, his attitude and his, his desire is infectious to the rest of the players. And I think um, I think you look at the team now; they play how the fans would want them to play, the desire and the commitment is, is there and, and the quality is on the pitch as well. It was a pedal down performance all the time wasn't it, always on the front foot and I thought after the corner for that first goal, I mean terrific skill by Kieran Morris and quick feet to, to get the cross in for Clarke in the first place. Yeah it was a good goal, well worked goal and I think it was coming, I, think, I don't think anyone can deny the fact that we were the better team. I think when they equalise I think everyone's a bit stunned by it, the whole crowd, the, the bench and the players and I think it took us probably five or ten minutes to recover from that. And then I thought the subs, Feeney, when he come on, and, and, and Leo Connor to help us just solidify, thought they were excellent when they come on as well. Because you started the second half really well, and he had chances, didn't he, to go to go two 0 up? Yeah, I think if uh, I think if we're going to have some internal slight criticism, is the fact that we never really killed them off at one 0 I think we had enough chances to go two and possibly even three, but we are creating the chances, which is um, which is a big big thing, and um, different players are getting on the end of it. It's not just the strikers. You look around the team today, Callum Max had a chance, Foley's had a chance, Kieran's had a couple, Josh Hawkes has had one, so players are now getting in the right areas and the, like I say, the quality of delivery is always there and the good science is, is we're playing well, we're performing and we're creating chances. And a really strong bench as you say, you know, Liam Feeney comes on, trick cross enemy, the keeper makes a great stay from Tom Davis but Clark is still there. Yeah, it's, I think it's... I think, I think at any level, in particular this one, the difference is always what's behind you. If, if you can go to 60 to 70 minutes and then after the turn round you've got the quality that we've got on our bench, I think it's the difference to going from drawing the game and winning the game. If we don't have that today, the game could easily be 1-1. We saw Leo Connor here last season, and even when he went on there at the end, he made a terrific block near the end as well, didn't he? Yeah, he did. again, you talk about Lee's qualities, and you talk about how Clark he's got the desire, and the, and Lee's exactly that. Lee, Lee will throw himself in front of anything to keep the ball out the back of the net, and that's the type of character we want on the pitch. And we knew with him coming on with ten minutes to go, like I say, just solidify us a little bit and and help us uh, get more control and, and stop them scoring. I know how disappointed every was with the the two yellows for Callum McDonald last week, but you know Chris Merry, he showed first game of the season before he was sent off, showed pre season how composed he can be at left back as well. Yeah, I mean if you look back to the first game of the season he was outstanding and then he got the sending off which was unfortunate for him because it, it knocked him back a little bit and it gave others opportunity but now he's just had his opportunity again and, he, and he's took it and another great performance from him and um, I think he had a part of playing the first goal as well. Here at Prenton Park that's four out of five you've won in the league so I mean certainly as far as a fortress here is concerned you, you're getting there aren't you? Yeah, I mean, we want to win every game. You don't want to win every game. It's like today, we could have easily said, oh, 1-1, one, one, we'll settle for 1-1, one, one, but there's no way we were ever going to do that. But we want to, I mean, we want to win every game, and in particular, when we're here, the fans don't half help. Any time there's a little bit of a lull. I mentioned it before, There was after they scored, there was a five-minute spell, a ten-minute spell maybe maximum, where they had a little bit more control of the game, and the fans just help get behind and lift the tempo of the pitch, and like I say, they have a big part to play in what we do. Great point at the league leaders, Forest Green, last week, and these two home games. Do you sort of see this as a real opportunity to kick on? Yeah, I do. I do. I think um, last week's performance was another good performance, and probably unfortunate not to win it. But uh, on a whole, it was a good away point. There's there's good points at times, but I, I mean, you never want to just draw a game. But I thought last week was a good point, and then you've always got to back that up with a win, and we've done that today. Very free flowing performance, trying to get Callum on the board, you know, Kieran Morris on the board, Josh Hawkes on the ball. I mean, they can really create things for you. Yeah, and I think credit to the players is that over the last three games what we've noticed now is opposition's trying to work hard to stop what we do, which is where we want to be. We want to be a team the teams want to stop. You can see Forest Green last week, they, they were playing a little bit unbalanced to try and stop Callum Mack and Josh Cogley going down the sides. And I thought they'd done a little bit of that today and tried to get three against them. So it just shows you that the teams are focusing more on about what we're doing. And even with strikers, sometimes when they don't get goals, they can lead from the front and, and then it never certainly doing that for you. Yeah, strikers have got more to the game than just scoring the goals. I mean, I thought he put himself about, he run himself into the ground and they help get you up the pitch. And I thought Elliot done that today. And I think if he just keeps doing that, the goals will come. 
I think somebody was telling me the stat now that uh, Peter Clark's had more minutes on the pitch than anybody in the top four divisions. I mean, he's going to go on forever, surely. Yeah, I certainly, I certainly hope so. It's no, it's no surprise to me because the way he lives his lifestyle, he's always the first one in the building, the last one out. There's, there's no coincidence in football. He's playing at this level now and still getting better because he puts everything into it, and um, he's a credit to the club. And if anybody needed a prompt to uh, to vote for him for Player of the Season from League Two last season, they'll, they'll be on the phone. Oh, this Simon's perfect, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this Simon's uh, immaculate for it. So, I mean, if, he should have been in Team of the Season last season. He should have possibly even been Player of the Season last season. I thought it was a massive injustice. But if he doesn't win this Writers Award, then um, we need to look at him too. Smiles on the face scene at the moment. Oh yeah, everyone enjoys that. I mean, everyone, the fans, the staff, the players, um, winning games of football, it's just, it makes your weekend, doesn't it? I'm looking forward to Colchester now on Friday night. I think we're looking forward to every game, especially in how we've been playing now. I don't think we fear anyone. I think the way we're playing, we, can, we believe that we're going to win every game now. And you can see the belief growing every game, which is great.